Hey, welcome back. Today we're doing an unboxing of this. This is Blackmagic Design's Speed Editor, and it's designed to work with this. DaVinci Resolve Studio. Yeah, that's right. Road to Reality, got another upgrade. All right, here we go. So I know it says 16 on it, but according to Blackmagic, the 16, 17, yada, yada, whatever version, those licenses are all forward facing. So you pay once and you got a lifetime of upgrades for free. So today we're gonna do an unboxing. And after we do that, I'm going to get it set up, play around with it, test it, and give you my thoughts on it. So just like one of my other unboxing videos. And if you're new here, I'm John, you're watching Road Reality, and here we do motorcycles, gear, bike reviews, rides, and as of 2021, some DaVinci Resolve stuff because I'm good for helping out moto vloggers that use Resolve. So anyway, let's dig into the box, shall we? And I even borrowed my wife's scissors for this. First things first, let's open up the license. And just like in all my other unboxing videos, I'm gonna make a huge mess. Ooh, it's sealed. Ooh, that's interesting. So check that out. It comes with a user's manual on an SD card, and it comes with like a credit card style thing that has the license on the back. And I'm not gonna show you that because uh, yeah, I don't wanna share. So if you do buy the license, Make sure that if you get the card, you don't lose this because this is your two allowed installs right here. So we'll set that aside. And now we'll get to unboxing what you probably clicked on this video to see. The DaVinci Resolve Speed Editor. Hopefully this thing speeds up my editing. Not really sure, but they were doing a combination deal where you bought the license and you get a speed editor or vice versa, depending on who you ask. Inside the box, nice piece of foam covering up. Ooh, doesn't that look nice? Oh man. Oh, that jog dial feels nice. I don't know if you can hear that, but that sounds like a 1980s IBM keyboard. If you know those model numbers or you have experience with them, let me know in the comments below. Wow, wow, this thing really has some heft to it. Solidly constructed. Look at that. So you've got your USB-C port on the front here and apparently it'll connect via Bluetooth, but on the underside, we have a rubber pads so it'll stick to your desk real good. <whistles> Welcome pack software installer. Yeah, probably need that. Set those aside. And, uh, oh look, so I had heard reports that some of them didn't come with the cable, but here we have a pretty lengthy USB-C to USB-C cable. Definitely gonna need that. We'll put that aside too. And that's it. I think there's nothing under here. Yeah, nothing else under there. So we're gonna get this all set up and we're good to go. And as you know, I always keep the boxes to everything I buy. So yeah, that one, it made it to the floor. So let's go get this thing set up. I'll do some testing and I'll be right back. It also comes with some black magic stickers. Look at that. Ooh, shiny. I don't know where I'm gonna stick these, but good to have. So here we are setting up the DaVinci Resolve Speed Editor. So what I've done is open up Bluetooth and other devices settings um, off my Windows key, and I'll click add Bluetooth device, click Bluetooth. We've got DaVinci keyboard connecting. Your device is ready to go, done. Battery is low, so I'm charging the battery currently, hopefully. And uh, yeah, we'll come back once I've installed Resolve Studio. So I've got the speed editor plugged in and it's charging, but the outside feels 
plastic, but man, this thing's got a lot of heft to it. And as you saw just now, setting it up isn't too difficult. I went on Blackmagic's website and they were less than helpful, so I went into the Bluetooth settings on my computer, as you saw, and was able to quickly set that up. So now we're gonna install DaVinci Resolve Studio. And a quick note about that. Um, apparently, and I learned this from a subreddit, you have to download the studio version of Resolve and then you can install the uh, and then you can install the studio version, which has the neural net AI yada yada bonus stuff. And now that DaVinci Resolve is installed, it asks for the activation key on the back of this card, which you can't see because again, I'm being secretive and I don't want to share. This is the first time in I don't know how long that I've spent this much money on a piece of software. So let's hope it works. But luckily. Resolve just came up and it brought with it my old project database. So now I can create a test project, go in and see how this speed editor works. But before we jump in, as soon as Resolve comes up, you can see I've got little lights on some of these keys and I'll show you a better picture here in a second. But uh, that's pretty cool. Resolve recognizes the keyboard and it even shows it on screen. So I'll, uh, I'll show you that now. So here we are in a test project, and as you can see, I'm using some stock footage. So I've got that all right here, and I've even got an audio track, and I'm using the jog wheel to scroll through. It's got jog, scroll, and shuttle. And you can see the, the lights light up to tell you what mode you're in. If I use scroll, it goes very fast. Jog goes a little finer control, and the shuttle, sets a speed until you change the position of the jog dial. So you can go quick through stuff and then, whoa, <laughs> and it's fun. But we'll go back to scroll here and it allows you to quickly scrub through footage, find a place you want, hit the cross dissolve, come up here, I want a smooth cut, boom. And it, it did it for me, how cool is that? So it's got a whole bunch of other buttons that uh, I don't quite know what all they do yet, but I know this is the multicam area and it's got these trim buttons. So if I back out my transitions and I say I want to bring this back and we're in jog mode now. So I've got fine control. If I come here and I say trim out and then I drag it back, you can see that it's dragging this back. And then over here, I want to drag it in, get that one in. But when I get closer to this end here, it's going to let me drag this one in. So frame by frame, boom, boom, done. So if I'm jogging through and I want to delete things, I can press split and it splits everything there. And if I want to move something, I can just hold it down and jog and move. That's pretty neat. And it has undo buttons, which is nice. If I want to show a full view, just click the button. Say I want to key on these beats here, I can create markers there with a double click of the marker button. And we've created three of those. And we're in the edit page, which this wasn't designed for, but I'm still using it here because that's what I like to do. Now, mind you, I'll have this keyboard over on the left side so I can use the mouse with my right and the keyboard with my left hand. But this is just testing and playing around. We're having a good time, right? If you're enjoying this video, Go ahead and give it a like and tell me what things in Resolve you'd like to see demonstrated by a Moto Vlogger because obviously I'm an expert in this. So I've reset our timeline a little bit. And if I come along here and I want to add a transition, boom, smooth cut. Boom, dissolve. Now what's cool is if I don't want all of this, I can hit the split button and that split the track and then I can do ripple delete. Boom. And if I hold it down, I can drag clips around. And that's most of the uh, that's most of the stuff I'm going to use. Some other key buttons. We've got source and timeline. So you can go between your two viewing windows. I don't have anything in source. So let's pull something up. So we have source there. And we're scrolling through it. We can go to timeline. I go back and forth so you can see flying through the clouds or we can go back to timeline. 
How neat is that? This thing's really cool. I think it's gonna save me some time. Speaking of time, this video is long enough. Let's wrap it up. So if you notice down here, it says battery status. That's the keyboard. You click on it, it says low battery, 11% remaining. I currently have it charging. And right now it's plugged into a USB-A port on my USB hub because I only have one USB-C port that's being used for an external hard drive. This is neat. I like it. I think it's going to save me some time and it's going to make editing even more fun. So I like this. If you want to buy one of your own, they're $295 through authorized resellers because Blackmagic doesn't sell anything themselves, um, only the resellers, which is kind of odd. But hey, that's how it goes. But uh, yeah, your mileage may vary. DaVinci Resolve 17 just came out and so far, so good. This video was edited in DaVinci Resolve 17 Studio. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Like I said earlier, if there's something else you want to see on the channel of me doing Resolve or motorcycle stuff, let me know in the comments below. And until I see you again, keep the shiny side up. Take care. Oh, this is cool. Too cool for school. <laughs>